Fashion Simply. I'm your fashion optician, teaching you how to see design lines and colors that transform you from plain Jane to proud Mary. This is my video series called Design Lines, Friend or Foe, where I teach you how to start seeing design lines on outfits. I'm also going to explain what body elements are enhanced by each one. This way, when you go to your closet or out shopping, you can start identifying design lines. And once you understand your body elements, you can determine if they're gonna work for you. What design lines will we be talking about today? The ones that create the silhouette, horizontal lines, and vertical lines. I'm having my assistant model outfits that I see at the Macy's store in Roseville, California. To today, Mary is modeling an outfit that can be worn to the gym. And more especially, a woman that has an O body shape where her waist is wider than both her shoulders and the hips, and then her body proportions are long between the bust and the crotch and short between the crotch and the floor. Let's get started. The first design line that we'll talk about is a silhouette. Silhouette is the outside line of any outfit. It's the difference between the shoulders and the waist, the waist and the hips, and the hips and the shoulders. It comes in two categories, angular and curved. The angular category, the shoulders, waist, hips, all appear to be the same width. While the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. The body element that tells you which category is your body shape. And body shape comes in the same two categories. The angular body shape, the waist isn't significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. While the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. Today, as I mentioned before, we're looking at an O body shape and the O body shape falls into the angular category. So any woman has this body shape, they wanna look for a silhouette that is angular. So let's look at this um, outfit. And the best way to do it is to look at the shoulders and the waist and the waist and the hips. And you can see they are all about the same on this Hoodie. And you can also see that it's about the same on this t-shirt. Now when it comes to the leggings, when you lift it up and looking at comparing the waist and the hips, you can see they're about the same, but because this is made out of a spandex fabric, it can mold to any body shape. So both curved and angular body shapes can wear these leggings. So this is a perfect outfit for a O body shape to wear to the gym when we're looking at the silhouette. The next design line that we'll be looking at are horizontal ones. Horizontal lines, they're gonna stop your eye, emphasize that area, make it appear wider and shorter. The body elements that give you clues to the placement of these design lines, your body shape and your body proportions. So body shape, you don't wanna put horizontal lines in your widest area because it's gonna emphasize this area and make it appear wider. But you do wanna put it in thinner areas because it'll emphasize that area make it appear wider and more in balance with your widest area. For body proportion wise, you don't want to put it in your short areas because it's going to make that short area appear even shorter, but you do want to put it in your longer area because it's going to make that area appear more in balance with the rest of your body. So today we're talking about an O body shape who has her long between her bust and her crotch 
and then short between her crotch and the floor. So let's look at horizontal lines for these body shapes and body proportions. So body shape, she doesn't want to put it in her waist area because it's going to make this area look even wider. But she does want to put it in her shoulder area or her hip area because it's going to make these areas appear thinner. And for her body proportions, she does want to put it between her bust and her crotch because it's going to make that area appear shorter. But keeping in mind, can't put it at the waist area. And then for pants, she really doesn't want to put any leggings, horizontal lines in her legs area. So let's look at this outfit. And the way you do it is you're going to start from the top and where does your eye stop? It stops at the crew neck and it also stops at this logo, um, Champion logo. And this is a perfect spot for horizontal lines because it's going to make the shoulder area appear wider, more imbalanced with the her waist area. And as you keep going down, you're going to see a horizontal line just under the bust, not at the waist, so this is perfect. And then it totally skips the waist and then goes mid-hip between the band of the top of the band and the bottom of the band of the hoodie, and then at the hip area for the um, t-shirt hem. So what does this do for her body shape? It's perfect. There's no horizontal lines in this area, but there's horizontal lines in her thinner areas, which make those areas appear wider and more in balance with her waist. So for body proportions in the torso area, this is perfect because from her bust to um, her hip, her crotch, there are quite a few different horizontal lines, making this area appear shorter and more in balance with the rest of her body. And when you're looking at the leggings, they do go down below her ankles. And this is perfect for having short legs because you're creating length there. If you live in a warmer climate, then consider ones that have that are, are shorter because it's not going to give you cut off your legs as much. The next design line that we'll talk about are vertical design lines. Vertical lines move your eye up and down, make that area a little thinner and a little taller. The body elements that give you clues to the placement of these design lines, body shape and body proportion. For body shape, you do want to put vertical lines in your thinner areas, starting from above it to below it, because it's going to move your eye through that area and make that area appear a little thinner. For but you don't want to put vertical lines just in your thinner areas because it's going to make those areas appear even thinner and more out of proportion with your wider areas. For body proportion, you do want to put vertical lines in your shorter areas because it's going to make those areas appear longer. And you don't want to put them in just your long areas because it's going to make those areas appear even longer and more out of proportion. So in review, we're looking at a body shape of an O and body proportions long between the bust and the crotch and short between the crotch and the floor. So let's look at the vertical lines on this outfit. The main one is the center front opening of the zipper hoodie. It goes from the shoulders all the way down to mid hip. And this is perfect for the O body shape because it's bringing the eye through the widest area of the waist and making it 
look thinner and your eye just passes over it. Working in conjunction with your horizontal lines and your body proportions, the horizontal lines that are right here from the pocket and then down here in the mid hip, mid hip and hip area, it makes the, the, this area appear shorter. So your eye is being moved through the widest area, but the horizontal lines enable this area to appear shorter. For the leggings, they do have a, a panel that goes down the side, and this creates a vertical line, which enables the legs to appear a little longer. So in conjunction, in this whole outfit, by using the right horizontal and vertical lines placed in the best, in the proper area, balance is created. I showed you the design lines on this outfit. The ones that create the silhouette, horizontal lines, and vertical lines. I hope you see clothes and design lines with a whole new perspective. If you like what you saw, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll be uploading a new video every Wednesday. Want to learn more about design lines? Then download my free ebook, Seven Steps to Evaluate Clothes. It's in the links below. So why is it important to understand design lines? Because clothes can change how you feel. Wearing the right design lines for your body will enable you to tap into your confidence and personal power so you can pursue your passions, create impact, and make this world a better place to live. Wear your greatness today.